I am never ever cutting again and honestly you should not either and here's why If you know me, you know I've been lean for a pretty good amount of time. It's been a few years, and a matter of fact, that's actually how I initially got my following on social media. By my original transformation where I got really lean and put on some muscle, got to a low body fat. Over the last few years, I'm starting to notice that everyone's right, your views actually are higher when you're more shredded. However, pros and cons, there's a big trade-off here. There's so much pressure to stay lean and very low body fat on social media because you always wanna have your abs visible and you know veins popping everywhere so you can look more sick in pictures but the thing is that's actually not optimal in the slightest way at all for building muscle which is what i want to do because i realized the last couple years specifically the last year i haven't grown at all right i've been literally the same lean body mass and actually it might have gone down a little bit and so this is a bunch of bull crap because yeah what's the point in going to the gym just to look the same honestly body fat is literally just all diet manipulation and so this got me thinking why am i forcing myself to stay so lean when honestly the payoff is not that big okay you're not guaranteed a social media following and you're not guaranteed success in that realm, but you are guaranteed to have low energy, get weaker in the gym, you're way weaker, you could get knocked out easily because your body weight is lighter. Honestly, there's just so many cons to being shredded. The only pro, literally the only pro is you look great on camera. Wow, confetti. Oh my God, bro, we look sick on a video, sick. So. Yeah, you know, I decided maybe I should get into a lean bulk. Let me start looking into bulking, right? Because there's no way I'm, I'm already at my genetic maximum muscle size. That would be kind of sad. So I started watching a video. Mike Isretel, right? From Renaissance Periodization. You should subscribe to that guy because he's a beast. He knows what he's talking about. He literally said in an old video, you should spend, get ready for this. It's going to blow your freaking mind. 80% of your time in a caloric surplus. Wow. Do you know what that means? That means, in simple terms, 80% of your time should be spent bulking. Yeah, and dude, when I heard that, I just felt really sad because, wow, did I waste all this time trying to stay lean and not even having a crazy, like, impressive physique anyways, just trying to maintain a low body fat. My calves are literally almost inverted with how thin they've become, and I'm not satisfied with that. I just want to get more jacked, and so I thought about it. This guy's right. The only time you should cut, really, is when your bulk has progressed too far and you've put on excess body fat, you should do like an eight-week mini cut to kind of reset your body fat levels. Eight weeks is plenty of time, especially if you're gaining a lot of fat. You can literally lose anywhere from eight to 16 pounds at a moderate pace, and that's a good amount of body fat. So there's no need to be dieting year round, cucking yourself from strength and muscle gains, right? Especially as a natural lifter, because we're not injecting stuff into our left testicle here. So this is kind of pointless to always try to stay lean if you're not one of those genetic super freaks that naturally they can just walk around sub 10% body fat and they have to eat Little Caesars pizzas to gain a small amount of muscle. I have friends like that. If you're not that, I am not that. You should not try to be that. I was trying to be that. Let's stop doing that together. Deal, deal. Okay, being lean has almost zero utility in the real world unless you're like a long distance athlete or like you know you're fighting at a certain weight class like if you're just doing it for no reason if you're a recreational lifter stop trying to stay shredded you guys are cucking yourselves bro you're gonna see i'm gonna start bulking i already have been for a month i'm gonna show you guys i'm gonna try to push the natty limits and really start to get jacked because the worst thing you can do when you're in your beginner or intermediate phases of lifting is spend so much time worrying about staying a certain body fat and barely making any strength gains and little to no muscle gains like if you really want to grow stop being afraid of the body fat really stop being afraid of it okay social media gave us all eating disorders and mental illness yep mike is right it's time to stop cutting i'm gonna be bulking for the rest of my life i'm never cutting again and by that i literally mean at least a year i'm gonna bulk more likely two years because i don't want chicken legs anymore nope and i cannot grow them extremely fast going heavy all the time because last time i tried to do that i'll put my five month progression on the screen i wrecked my knees and I, they were just starting to get big too which sucks so i don't want to wreck my knees this time i'm estimating two years to get jack legs i'm gonna bulk for at least two years guys and honestly leave in the comments if i should say f it and just do a super bulk right i i've been pretty meticulous with my calorie tracking still just a lot of rice and fruits but yeah, if you guys want to see me eat McDonald's every day, I don't care. I'll do it. I'm tired of being small. Let me give you an example of what exactly I want to look like. Two really prime examples here, okay? 
FB Aftermath, and Mike Tyson. They're both very large, okay? They're not shredded. They're not low body fat by any means. They're lean enough to have an athletic physique, but they're huge. And the best part about that is they're literally athletic AF. Look at the stuff Tehran is doing at 240. My guy is like about six foot, 240 lean, doing backflips, sprinting fast as hell. If he wanted to get into fighting, he would kill someone. Honestly, he could probably be the next Mike Tyson with this build. Mike Tyson is a great example. He was like, what, 5'11-ish? to something he's in the twos that's kind of the goal for me imagine ski weighing 200 pounds but still moving like he's 160 that's crazy so pretty much i'm gonna aim to get really massive but still be explosive athletic and dangerous because that sounds like a way more fun lifestyle your punches hurt way more you know you're very intimidating if you can explode that fast like mike tyson with his lunging left hook was very terrifying because a guy that big should not be exploding forward that fast to you and so you might be thinking yeah ski Tehran and tyson t names your name doesn't start with t that's not the only problem here is there's another really big problem here of me trying to be like that these guys are black i'm not black does that mean anything in particular well yes because actually if you take a look at it statistically black people have like the best genetics ever for anything athletic wise or bodybuilding wise okay they're the kings of that shit but i'm gonna try i'm gonna try so if we can do like the masked light skin version of mike tyson at 5'9 let's do that that sounds fun stop killing yourself to be lean everybody has different genetic body fat set points this means a body fat that you perform the best that you're the most optimal at. some people are really lucky there's this eight to ten percent they're not suffering over there most people around the 15 percent range dude i love being 15 to 18 percent body fat okay it's it's nice i have way more energy during the day i don't have to be so reliant on stims and caffeine right and i'm way stronger in the gym i fill out my shirts oh but i'm not i'm not shredded is this what you guys are scared of is this right here watch oh my god bro oh no oh no bro fat damn I'm, is that what you guys are afraid of bro look at this look at this physique man if i can maintain this level of body fat this is fine you don't have to be shredded slightly visible abs right i'm not freaking overweight but there's no need to be any leaner than this 15 to 18 percent honestly i'm gonna go bear mode alpha destiny was right especially as a natural you're gonna find a lot more enjoyment in the gym dude i've been bulking for one month i already shot up maybe 10 pounds because first i filled out a lot of water and glycogen and then i've actually gained probably after that like another four pounds so i went pretty quick in the beginning i don't care i'm gonna slow down a little bit so that it's mainly just muscle gain i'm not bothered by it in the slightest yeah being lean is better for social media I'm going to stop caring about that, and you should too, especially if you're not doing social media. Guys, don't cuck yourself, okay? Go bear mode. Get jacked. You don't have to do seasonal bulking and cutting every year. Why don't you bulk through summer one year? That's what I plan to do next year. Yeah, stop being afraid to put on a little bit of body fat. That is a very feminine quality, okay? We should get big and jacked and athletic and explosive. Now, with that being said, I plan to do some bulk updates probably on a monthly basis pretty soon i'm gonna upload the month one bulk update i actually took some videos of what my lifts were you can see already how much thicker my physique has gotten in just a four week time span i was just under 170 and now i'm about 181 ish pounds and i feel like a million mother effing bucks dude i feel so much better and i already feel the uh, power increase i don't even train bench bench went up my overhead press is shooting through the freaking roof this is my message to you all. It's not just about me. I'm not the one that's going to be bulking for a couple years. You should also do it too. Trust me. I was falling out of love with the gym. I hated every session. There's no growth. There's no PR. Literally just getting a pump. All my joints hurt. I feel like the freaking Tin Man from Wizard of Oz. And somebody needs to come with some WD-40 injected in my elbows because they were creaking. Now, I cannot be stopped. I'm literally lifting and doing bag work every day because I'm eating enough calories to supply it. The only downside is, wow, I might have a little of love handles but if i knock your ass out how are you gonna even see them so with that being said guys this is schema as duet signing out let's create the best version of ourselves get to the world all right peace